Welcome to System Dynamics Online Tutorials. In this particular session we're going to cover the exception maintenance following the um, tag load uh, process within the physical inventories. Uh, under the distribution within inventory we have in the processing the physical inventory uh, suite of applications and uh, continuing or dealing with the process of loading an external file we have an exceptions maintenance which allows us to maintain files or records that are loaded from an external file for reasons of uh, physical inventory. This exception maintenance uh, simply validates the records coming in uh, on the tag load it was validated sorry coming in to the application and then if there's any exceptions they're dumped into this maintenance so that we can actually maintain them online and verify um, and, and take care of any errors. Uh, in the case of this particular record, it was uh, loaded in for the SUP warehouse. The product was 18375 according to the file. The lot number was uh, obviously not a lot controlled. The tag code was 125 and no bin location and the tag quantity was 472. On the right hand side is a, a series of flags which can be uh, seen at the bottom here as to the legend of what each one of those flags mean. If there is a flag uh, marked as an X in here, that means that there is something wrong with the given record that's that's allocated here. Uh, if there, since there is no selection in one a warehouse, obviously the supplied record that we presented to the system for the SUP warehouse is valid. Since there is a X in the number two column, that means that there's a problem with the uh, product code and what that means is that that particular product code does not exist on our warehouse location for SUP so we actually have to take care of that and verify that it's it's the wrong product code it shouldn't have been in the file in the first place etc. Um, a three uh, denotes that the lot code is invalid um, basically what happens here is that since the product does not exist um, then it would verify that the lot may or may not or should not possibly be entered or should be there so it doesn't know from a system perspective so it flags it as an error. Just moving on, uh, the tag code is valid uh, because you can use your own system tag so it'll generate that tag into our system uh, without uh, any problem. Number five is a bin location. Again, since the product failed uh, validation then the both the lot number and the bin will be located uh, flagged out as well too. Uh, seven is a stock item. Obviously since the product does ex not exist then we do not have that as a stock item on that particular warehouse. Keeping in mind that the product may exist as a valid product to our company but just not exist on that actual warehouse. Uh, other uh, key columns to keep in mind here is a duplicate tag uh, record here which is the 10 spot and what that means are the the, the tenth column here. The duplicate tag is uh, upon loading the file if I actually have double tag entries and, and that means the exact same tag code w for the exact same product with uh, different um, tag quantities etc. This will flag in here to alert to me that I actually have a double tag on that file uh, being, being processed or, or, or wanting to be processed and uh, it's up to me to take care of that. Um, the 11th column here is just denoting that this entire record uh, out of multiple ones here is invalid. Now as far as maintenance is concerned I can continue and actually maintain this record right here on this exceptions maintenance. So I could actually go and say yes that's totally the wrong product. It should have been uh, product uh, BT750 uh, and the system will validate that against that uh, this product code against the supply warehouse and you'll see that it now un unmarks the uh, the actual um, tag or sorry unmarks the uh, invalid product ID here um, and then I can simply just continue to maintain since that's a, a lot controlled item I put the lot number in here and the bin location etc etc and then the invalid record would go off and this would actually be injected into our tag file upon committing. Um, so I can maintain these as well and come back to them at any point in time and maintain them and they will just drop off as soon as the entire record is is correct. And that concludes the uh, exceptions maintenance aspect of the um, physical inventory.